Lieutenant John Anthony Barranco's name is written here in stone among thousands of others, but it was also a name unknowingly present in my own home from the day I was born. Like my father, John was a pilot in the Army Air Corps, 35th Squadron, 64th Troop Carrier Group, flying C-47s across Italy, France, and the Mediterranean Basin. While researching this project, among some fading onion skin papers belonging to my father, my son and I discovered John's name on a set of orders Dad had saved. I had probably glanced across this name before as a child, when dad had shown me the contents of his World War II footlocker, but that at that time, it was only a name and only one name among hundreds appearing in the papers that dad had saved. Today I stand here in a stony sea of names to remember a life lived and to honor John's sacrifice of his own future, pages that have remained blank in what could have been a long and happy life. Lieutenant Bronco was born John Anthony Bronco to Frank Bronco and Mary Gritzula in the community of Jessup near Scranton, Pennsylvania. His parents' families were recent immigrants from the area around the Polish and Slovakian border. John grew up in a diverse community among Slavic, Spanish, Italian, Ukrainian, Russian, and English immigrants. John was always surrounded by the musical heritage of his European roots. And in that melting pot of American opportunity, John kept the traditions of his Central European heritage alive through music. An accomplished singer, John was also a gifted accordion player and instructor. His music brought people together and he often played for weddings and other community events. War came and in July 1942, he entered service in the military. And at that time, the spelling of his name changed to Baronco. He initially served as a technical specialist, but he began to work his way through the long process of becoming a pilot. On August 15, 1944, John participated in Operation Dragoon. The squadron took off from Rome and dropped paratroopers and gliders in two separate sorties on the southern coast of France. Throughout the fall, the squadron had encountered dangerous weather conditions in France as well as in Italy. Navigational equipment was still primitive and unexpected fog could create hazards for even the most experienced pilots. On February 2, 1945, Lieutenant John Anthony Barranco's C-47 Skytrain crashed in adverse weather conditions near Montieri, Italy. Among those on board were several Army nurses, a Red Cross worker, and American and British soldiers. In death, Lieutenant Barranco was surrounded by many from the diverse community into which he had been born. They were the descendants of Italian, Polish, Slovak, and English immigrants who had left America and returned to Europe to fight for the freedom and opportunity they had come to love as Americans. John, I stand here representing your family who was so devastated by your loss, the first in a string of tragedies for your family. But I also stand here as a profoundly grateful citizen for the future that you sacrificed for me. Your name lives on nestled in these hills, but your memory lives on in the songs of home that tie us together as Americans, whatever those songs may be.